Okay. Beautiful. Okay, we're going. Yes. Okay. This this tune's called. It's called White Onions. The Vices Vibra. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Okay.
My friends at PIA, they were very, very liberal. PIA, you ever go to PIA? Frank knows PIA. Pakistan International Airlines. I came with my Orville and everything. They said, oh, Mr. Hammond, no problem, no problem. No. And we took them many times, you know. So this goes out to all our friends in the airlines. It's called No Excess Baggage Blues. It goes like this. All right. Yes.
Jones, the Tennis Tech Bonus. Sounds like we got a lot of people coming in. Not a second. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a real special treat for you today on the Hammond Cast Show. I'm sitting here with an old, old friend. We go way back. And I know you've heard his records for many years. We got him here on the show. It's Eddie Money with us here on the Hammond Cast Show. How are you doing today, Ed? Yeah, I'm doing great, John. Thanks so much for having me on the show. I would have got a lot of people know that we've been playing together actually since about 1974, 75. John was just a young pup. He was really quite the keyboard player. And uh, we started out, we had the key to the Berkeley High School auditorium. Oh, and we went back there and we used to get into yeah. all the shows and, and slam the door in Bill Graham's God's face. Boy, did they get mad at us. But yeah. we, we go back, boy, John and I, we go back. I remember when we went to like uh, Berkeley School of Music and we've been hanging out and doing shows with each other occasionally every once in a while. I want to, I'm very grateful to be on the show. And uh, John, you've come a little, really a long way in uh, in your career. Your, your TV show's still doing great after 25 years. And now you got this great job with KYOU. Thanks a lot, Eddie. You know, it, it brings back a lot of warm memories back in those days. Of course, that was how we first came to the attention of Bill Graham Presents. Oh, yes. Uh, not exactly through the front door, literally through the back door. <laughs> yeah. And Scotty the guard, you know. Sure. We were legendary cats, you know, at those shows. But we got to see some fantastic shows. They brought The Who in, Jimi Hendrix and everybody to the Berkeley Community Theater. And the Barsotti brothers, you know, have done a wonderful job. Uh, the whole Bill Graham organization. And you uh, eventually became to be managed personally by Bill Graham, which was really like a, a beautiful uh, lucky star to be shining over you and I always knew that you were gonna make it Eddie. Well, thank we you, met, you know, as, it was actually before 1974 as I recall I couldn't even drive a car then I was on a bicycle. You, know, <laughs> yeah, you I had hair down to my ass. You were, <laughs> you were on the edge, yes <laughs> yeah, that's very man. true. Well look, yeah. Bill Graham was a great guy and we actually got signed on Amateur Night. They had a show called Sounds of the Cities. The Wednesday Nights. It right. was a Wednesday Nights, it was Sounds of the Cities and I think we were actually one of the first job, first bands to actually get a record deal of a video cassette tape, if you can believe that. We, wow. we, we got a deal by making a show on video cassette, and uh, next thing you know, I was uh, opening up uh, Marshall Tucker and then doing shows, and eventually I, I was opening up for The Who and for The Rolling Stone and playing Madison Square Garden and having so many hits under my belt. I mean, we played the US Festival, 650,000 people. To, it was the largest rock show to date to this day. Yeah, the, I remember. With the police back in 1980, 81, I think. It all started happening really quick, uh, and uh, I'll never forget when you rolled up in a limousine and you had the first pressings of uh, the Eddie Money album with, with Baby Hold On To Me on yeah, it and you said, hey guys, here's, yeah. <laughs> the, the, and you know, we went to the uh, photo session with Lynn Goldsmith and right, everything. Sure, great lady. You know, and, and you know, we want to get to the things that you're doing now, but you know, we have a, a long history. You came out to the Bay Area. The Bay Area was good to you. Oh yeah, and uh, I, love, I love living in the Bay Area. Yeah, we had uh, some, some notable gigs, uh, uh, most notably the... Uh, the uh, Corral Club in San Jose that we <laughs> that we still never got paid for. The guy was Carl well, was Kennedy. The, the we were on the <laughs> same bill with Sammy Smith. Uh, um, helped me make it through the night. I you know remember that. Was, but they didn't. We, the trouble was, is John, we didn't have a pedal steel guitar player, and we were not. We knew nothing about country western music at all. We were like a heavy metal rock band, not you know more like the Doobie Brothers or the Steve Miller band. And we came in there, and uh, uh, those people didn't know what hit, what hit them. It was kind of like. Uh, they should have had the fence up around us, like in that movie uh, with the uh, 
with the, the Blues, the Blues Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, the beer bottles were flying. I went into the bathroom, <laughs> and before I could get in there, some guy came flying out of there all bloodied up, oh, you know. A, it was a very but we had pictures. The with Cowboy Bar. Yeah, we, was, we, had, we had pictures with Sammy Smith. Whatever happened to those pictures? I don't know, John. I had somebody <laughs> great. I used to have pictures of me, and I got a picture of me and Count Basie, which was really amazing. So oh, a picture of me and Mick Jagger. You know, I got a lot of great pictures, but, you know. And when then you studied with Ed Kelly at, 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 at the Oakland. Uh, Ed Kelly was a, an amazing uh yeah, and Mr. Diamanto, I don't know if he's still around, but I don't know, but he was a great saxophone teacher. That way I was, and Mr. Hibner was a great uh, music teacher also, he did, you know, taught you a lot about the blues. I actually, Laney College had a very good music department back, mm -hmm. in, the, back in the early 70s. I learned how to play saxophone in junior college, how about that? Right, yeah, Laney Thank college. you, Mr. D, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Eddie, well, you know, you came out to the Bay Area from Levittown, right, and that was sort of my introduction by fire to New York you right, know sure. and I met all these heavy New York characters that came following you out there sure. and I was so intrigued by New York that look what happened I moved to New York I live in Times Square now. that's amazing <laughs> too I mean you know what you always had that big apple in your blood I don't know what it is but uh, you know you you know you really get around really well in the sound here and uh, and New York's a great but it's really a great metro metropolis it's a great place to be and and to be as successful as I am in New York and still selling out BB Kings and still hear myself on the radio, it's, uh, you know, one thing about New York is they always take care of their own. You got to say yep. that about it. Eddie's back here for a show at BB Kings, ladies and gentlemen. And the last time uh, he was here, it was packed to the rafters, wall to wall. This is a hometown crowd for Eddie Money here. And now nowadays, you got bringing some of your your musicians from the pastor on the band and your daughter's on the band yeah my daughter is actually she's doing all the work with MTV right now and she was fortunate enough to get a phone call from Beyonce's dad apparently wow. they're interested in and in taking a good look at Jesse and she's a real talent she goes out there she loves old singers like Etta James and Martha and Vandellas and Ruby Johnson mm -hmm. and she loves uh, Janis Joplin she goes out there and she has a great version of Turtle Blues and my lead guitar player Tommy Gervin has been writing some songs for her has Matter of fact, we're probably going to take a minute and feature one of the songs by Jessica, by John. This is a song called "Right Now," written by Tommy Gervin. This is my little girl, Jessie Money. We're gonna we're gonna give it a spin right now on the Ham and Cash Show, ladies and gentlemen. It's been great having Eddie on the show. I want to uh, encourage you to check out his website, which is eddiemoney.com. Eddiemoney.com. We do shows all over the country, and uh, I'll see everybody in the lobby. And, and stay close to KYOU, baby, because you know what we're talking about. It's a great radio station, and it's also the home of the Oakland A's. Go in. Are you filming again tonight? Yeah, oh yeah. You're doing a whole Yeah, thing? I'm going to do as much of the tour as I can, you know. How great. Yeah, we're going to uh, Indiana next and yes, Iowa. Yes, How nice. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be great. Man. That yeah, is gonna, that's wonderful. We're going to get as much of the tour as we can because yeah. you know, it doesn't go out all year, so. Yeah. we got to get as well, much this as is, this is particularly, this setting, you know, I mean, this all, all these accommodations and... Uh, I was watching you, now that I think about it, I was watching you work last night. You were getting some of the crowd shots, the handshakes, and the close-up shots with him. The yeah. band, it was nice. A lot involved there. Yeah. A lot involved. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm glad that you're, uh, uh, you know, here you are. You're able to pull this off. Yeah. We're going to put, like, a documentary together. And yeah, well, there's a lot of... A lot of history there, you know? Mm hmm I mean, think in terms of, I remember Eddie when he was first signed with the label, my God. We, when he appeared here, it was at a club called Mississippi Nights, down on the Mississippi. Mm. Just literally, you go out the back door, you're in the Mississippi. Really? And uh, then when he came in, we a second time, we met him at the airport. And we had we had dollar bills, fake dollar bills, with his picture in the middle. Huh. And we were dropping on, the, in the, you know, just dropping, giving the people at the airport. We were waiting, you know, to pick him up at the uh, at the flight for a. Uh, he was kind of came in for a concert. 
You were just handing these bills out at random to people. So what hmm. is this all about? Huh? You know, here's some money. It was great. We, it was a lot of promotional vehicles, a lot of things we were doing. That's great. Yeah. Then he came in. This is for uh, KSAG. He had a St. Valentine's Day massacre. It was in February, obviously St. Valentine's Day. He was on, and also meatloaf. Oh, yeah. Colder than crazy. Snow, ice. People turned out. It was beautiful. It was at about a 10,000 seat hall downtown. Wow. Kiel, K I E L Auditorium. Hmm. And so, uh, if you see how rapid these shows went. I mean, yeah, really. It was. I mean, so this, this, was one, uh, ago. this is when Baby Hold On was turning oh, up the yeah. charts. Oh, yeah. Very, very early. Yeah, I'm sure. I go way back with Daddy. Yeah, I bet. I worked with him when I was 17 years old. No kidding. How oh, nice. That's great. Yeah. 17. Yeah, yeah really. That was only yesterday. <laughs> uh, a couple of years ago, maybe. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, so did he get up to New York much? Not really. Yeah. Not really. I'm out in the field. I travel all the time. I'll uh -huh. be in Nashville and Memphis uh, for three days next week. Come home for the holidays. I'm going over to Kansas City on the 1st of uh, December. Great. Um, I don't have any reason to go to New York. Mm -hmm. This is New York. Yeah, this is right. where the action is. Mm -hmm. Out here in the, uh, in the streets. Yeah, I'm, yeah, not a desk. I'm not behind a desk. I'm not orientated. I'm mm -hmm. with the people. That's great. You get to go out and stay in touch with the market and absolutely see what, see what the, different put your finger right on the pulse sure, you know? people people are cut out for different things i admire those people and what they do yeah uh, just a different street is a different ball game yeah right. this is really where the action is i love it hey, i'm on vacation I, if it wasn't for eddie i wouldn't be here forget it you know i'm just i'm laying low for a few days but like you said you know hey he wanted to do some things today. I love it. So, Eddie's on all the time. Man. Couple, do a couple, couple little things, and then uh, we'll go from there. As a matter of fact, they were going to do an interview at noon. Jesus Christ! It's well, noon now. We're running a little tight. The stars always got to be about ten minutes late, you know, just yeah, just to build the anticipation. Yeah, well, the music, you know? uh, the program director was. Uh, he has a lunch, and he's got to leave for it. Maybe I better give him a call. He was going to wait till noon. Uh, yeah, give him a jingle, you know. Because Eddie will be down. He's, he's, I was just up there. He's, he's uh, hauling balls to get Makes ready. Makes no difference to me. The phone's ringing said. off the hook up there, you know. <laughs> yeah. Makes no difference to me. But it's uh, it's crazy because the music director, he, uh, let's see, lunch is like at 12.30. And then we have to be at KWK at 2 o'clock. So, uh, makes no difference to me. He wants to do it. It's his prerogative. Yeah. He can handle it from there. Really? You know. He's got his, you know, in store, he's got to be here at three. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way to Cape Girardeau at, uh, at three, so. All right. Yeah. He's going to bug out. Good. Worked a couple hours and blew it. Getting back. Yeah. That it? God All damn, right. it's about time. What are you trying to do? I got to go up. Uh, you got 12 o'clock, man. You got to go on the air at 12 o'clock. You know what time it is? All right, so we're running a little late. How far is it from here? Downtown, half hour. All right, I, should, I got to go back to the Anybody comes to town, it's historical. It is. Jesus. On the grill. What a day. <laughs> You got right, this, this is really documentation. This is great. John, you're beautiful. All right, man. We're making this is documentation. Is this good enough? Yeah. That's so bad. It's All right. Yeah, there you go. All right. All right, man. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening in Denver? This is Eddie Money and Lynn Wells, and she's a beautiful girl as well. You know, she's as good looking as she sounds. And we're going to be live from L.A. all this week on the station that rocks the Rockies, KBPI. I mean, I did say it was live. <laughs> Hi, buddy, this is Eddie Money. Hi, buddy, this is Money Man, the man with no control, the man I love my rock and roll. And we're live for him. Guys, can we keep it down over there, please, so I can finish this shit?
And uh, Eddie, welcome to line one. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good seeing you again. Yeah, you've been busy here the last couple go, of days. Go, 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 go. That's what it's all about. Saw you on TV uh, a couple of, was that Solid Gold? Uh, yeah, we did Solid Gold, and I've done uh, David Letterman, and we're gonna, I'm flying to New York tomorrow to do uh, David Brenner. We're doing that on Wednesday night. So check it out, gang. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. Listen, first off, we want to get into some music. Uh, the title cut of Eddie's uh, last album, Where's the Party? Now, this one came out in 1983, but we have a version that was recorded live by Westwood One at the Fox Warfield in San Francisco. That was a good show. Was a real really good show. show. Here's Eddie Money asking the big question of the evening, Where's the Party? Let's check it out. Since we still got the line. Let's walk in the door. <laughs> one of my heroes, and I really didn't anticipate meeting today. Eddie Money's here. We'll talk to him right after Toto at KHTR. Would you uh, mind taking a couple of phone calls? Not at all. All right. KHDR. Hello. Hello. That's who? Who? Diane from Diane Dr. Bowen. Oh, hi, Diane. How are you, dear? Would you like to talk to Eddie Money? Yeah. Well, say hello. Hi, Diane. How you doing? Oh, my God. I'm talking to Eddie Money. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eddie Money. Hey, one of our patients is going to your concert tonight. Yeah, I got a lot of patients on the stage with me. Is that Eddie Money? <laughs> yes, it is. Is that Eddie Money? Trust me. <laughs> Well, hello, Eddie Money. Hello, how you doing? You ready for us, Eddie Money? <laughs> I love working girls. You love working girls? Yeah. Well, that's what we are. Right on. Right on. You're right. <laughs> you're going to give me tickets to the show. Yeah, we're going to get your name and number and uh, we'll write it down. What's your name, baby? My name's Moni, M-O-N-I. Uh-huh. Ringer, R-I-N-G-E-R. Yeah. And what do you else? You need my phone number? No, baby. I, I'm, uh, I'm practically... Uh, I got the hatchet at home for that, you know. Just your oh, measurements, come dear. On. Get out. Anybody, KHTR. Hello? Yes, I wanted to ask you, when does Bon Jovi come in contact? Bon Jovi had just got in a bad car accident and he broke his nose. Uh. <laughs> if you'd like to talk to Eddie, give us a call. 969 or 399 103.3. Yeah. Roll a couple of them back. We'll cart them up. Yeah, yeah. Man, working the crowd. Oh, Eddie, I heard your song on my KHTR. That's right. Working the crowd. What's happening? Any money here? 